Newcastle United CEO, Darren Eales, warns fans that top players may be sold to adhere to Premier League rules. Despite being the richest club due to Saudi Arabian ownership, Newcastle's spending power is limited. Star players like Alexander Isaac and Bruno Guimaraes might be sold to free up funds for reinvestment. Don't miss out on the latest content and exciting updates. Subscribe to my YouTube channel now for a front row seat to exclusive videos and a community of like-minded enthusiasts. Despite a revenue increase, Newcastle is under pressure due to a financial loss largely due to new players' costs. The Premier League's profit and sustainability rules restrict the loss clubs can bear, limiting Newcastle's spending ability. The club's aim is to reinvest its revenues, with Eels noting the stark difference between Newcastle's revenue and that of other clubs like Man City. This could lead to big-name sales to create room for reinvestment and propel the club into the top six. To maintain financial stability, clubs may need to trade players, says Eels. By selling a high-value player and replacing him with one of the same value, clubs can create financial headroom within the constraints of financial fair play FFP. Join the growing family of subscribers and stay connected with the latest trends, tips, and entertainment. Hit that subscribe button and be part of the journey on my YouTube channel. Eel cites examples of successful player trading, such as Liverpool's sale of Coutinho and Villa's sale of Grealish. This strategy allows clubs to increase commercial revenue and player trading, crucial for growth within the FFP model. Potential sales of Gimores and Isaac could offer the required financial headroom. Gimores was purchased for £33 million from Lyon, yet his current transfer value is £86 million, which would profit Newcastle £53 million. Similarly, Isaac's sale would net a £23 million profit. Selling star players could pose a risk as buyers would likely be direct competitors. Elite clubs like Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, and Paris Saint-Germain could afford the high fees. Notably, PSG has expressed interest in Guimaraes. Unlock a world of knowledge, entertainment, and inspiration by subscribing to my YouTube channel today. Hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, and be the first to experience the upcoming content. Let's embark on this exciting adventure together. Newcastle's squad valuation suggests further profits could be made on other players. The sale of fan favourite Alan St. Maximin to Al Ali previously helped the club's FFP situation. Newcastle could also follow Chelsea's strategy of selling homegrown players. Players like Sean Longstaff and Lewis Miley, who require no registration fee, represent pure profit from an FFP perspective. Pressure from FFP rules frustrates the club, with Newcastle's ability to strengthen the squad in January limited. Manager Eddie Howe admits that top star's sale may be uncontrollable and stresses the need to improve revenue streams. The potential sacrifice of crown jewels like Isaac and Gimores could be a downside for Newcastle fans. However, such moves might be necessary to achieve the club's long-term ambitions given the existing constraints. Subscribe for more football news and about the money in sport. Thank you for watching.